Hello buddy, welcome back to another video. I'm Popo from Game Gear, and today I'm playing some more Bloons Adventure Time Tower Defense. So today, uh, I'm doing another Mythbuster video pretty quickly today. Um, not pretty quickly. Compared to the last one and the gaps between them, this one's pretty fast. Uh, but the last Mythbuster did really well, and I have quite a few ideas, so we're just gonna get into it. So, first things first. I'm gonna go over some of the myths we're gonna do. Uh, there are, I think, one or two others that have I've been, like, recommended that aren't in this video. They may get done in the next one, it's hard to know. Uh, I think it was generally because they were a bit hard to test, or they would require more time, and I just feel they either deserve a different video, um, or I just wasn't quite sure how to do them, so I'm just gonna focus on a couple today, but I do still have quite a few. Uh, so first things first, 40 sword, this is sort of about one shot. Can one shot effects pop bad balloons? We got the 40 sword, slows balloons, including morbs, on contact, with a 5% chance to destroy them completely. Slow, I assume, doesn't work on bad balloon. Does the one shot? I don't think it does. I feel like that's incredibly unlikely, but I gotta try it. And the other one that feels more likely to work on bad balloons, Crystal Motives of Destruction. Special properties instantly destroy more class balloons with less than 10% health remaining. I think it would work. Um, I don't know for a fact if it does, so it's a perfect thing to do a myth on. Uh, so pretty easy thing to test. Obviously, we just weaken a bad balloon and see if it gets one-shotted before it's dead or if we see the special effect, because there's a special effect for the, um, Crystal Motives of Destruction if it's working. Uh, okay, let me go over. What are the other ones? Oh, this was a fun one. This is a good suggestion by someone. Uh, Death Sea for Charlie ability. I'm assuming they're talking about his more of assassin ability. Do more damage if C4 Charlie has damage buffing trinkets slash weapons. Obviously, that wouldn't actually make much of an impact, so it wouldn't be worth it. It's just a fun one to test out. Uh, so for this, currently, I have a basic one. I do have plasma goggles, because it does get plus 3 damage and 20% attack speed boost. Um, so I can sort of test if it does extra damage. Uh, though even if plasma goggles doesn't do more damage with the ability, I'll probably still um, try again with something else. So I'll do something quick there, probably against the ZMG, because I don't think it's necessary to go all the way to the bad balloon for him. Um, other things that we have, we have quite a few things actually. This is an interesting one. Uh, in one of my more recent videos, I talked about Vampire King. I forget exactly why. I think it was in the Tech Terror Army video. Um, and how, I don't think Vampire Kings, I don't know how the damage works, but it doesn't seem like having a bunch of them is much stronger than only having three or four of them. And someone actually mentioned that they think they've seen in like some Ninja Kiwi post, um, that four Vampire Kings, which is how many you can have normally without like Warrior PB or anything, is the limit at which they stop doing damage. I don't like, or the damage is increased, I guess. I don't know if that's the case, but that's an easy one to test as well. Uh, so we have all four Vampire Kings equipped, plus Hunter Marcelin, or not Hunter Marcelin, Warrior PB. Um, one other thing that I had, this is a lot of myths today, so we should be able to test most of these. I'm not sure if we get to all of them. Uh, but this next one is pretty basic. Essentially, uh, plus 5% attack speed to all characters nearby. Tree Tricks Apple Knife. Does this apply to allies? I don't know, in my mind it does, but it does say characters, and it is actually a pretty big deal if it does or doesn't. Uh, we also have Warning Horn, uh, gives increased attack speed of all nearby characters. And finally, the last one in terms of this, there might be one more that I'm missing, but it is the Loot Suit. Characters in range get plus 2% attack speed and range, or and plus 2 range, rather. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be interesting to test those out. I feel like there's one more thing I need to think about. I'm also gonna try out Lemon Hope. I'm pretty sure Lemon Hope works, but it's still just something I wanna double check because it's easy enough to do. Was there one more glitch, or not glitch, myth that I was going to showcase? Can my memory remember? Um, I feel like that was everything. I'm just gonna like quickly scroll through these characters, nervous that I'm forgetting something important. Uh, but I believe that's all the myths we're showcasing today. Uh, although I could be wrong, I'm pretty sure that is just about everything. So we should be good. Yes, awesome. Okay, so we're just gonna go in with those. I believe that is everything. Once again, I'll just go on the Bloom Beacon map, because why not? And, uh, yeah, we're doing Impoppable, because obviously two of my glitches work on bad balloons. Um, so let's get started. As far as defense, I made the mistake last time. Hunter Marcelin, you're powerful, right? Yeah, you're powerful enough, so I'm probably gonna use Hunter Marcelin as my main defense here. It's also Cosmic Essence, which is nice. Um, because I did, I remember correctly, for the last Mythbuster, I didn't really have much of a defense. So it was a bit of iffy just surviving to the bad balloon, but hopefully that won't be an issue this time. Uh, same thing though as last time, we definitely want some Cobas getting set up, so we have some degree of money making. I probably will tank early game just to try to get as many Cobas as possible, as quickly as possible. Uh, I don't believe I have as many this time, no, I think it's only three, is that correct? Uh, three Cobras, is that the number? It is the magic number, cool. Uh, so we'll go for Hunter Mars the next. Once we get a little bit of money set up, I'll start doing the other glitches. Uh, some of them are pretty easy to test, whereas a lot of them, uh, 
This is impoppable. I just sleep to life. What am I doing? Okay, so Hunter Marcelin, you may have, I may actually have to start with you, if you can believe it. Uh, this is not me thinking all that straight. I feel like I'm missing a glitch, which is bothering me, but we have plenty to showcase. Uh, myths, rather, I keep calling them glitches. Uh, but we still have plenty to showcase, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal if I am missing one or two. Though I don't think I am, at least in terms of what I was, like, thinking that I was gonna do in today's video. Not that big of a deal if I am, I just feel like I am, so we'll see if I remember partway through. Um, yeah, another one I still want to do, I've wanted to do this one for ages. This Google Mama meter stack, I still don't have two Google Mama meters. And although I could technically test and send the clones, I haven't really had the right timing for it. And I don't really want to test and send them the clones, because I feel like that's potentially even different, like a different result even. So, there's lots of things I still need to test. Um, so that is definitely a myth that I want to test, it's just I don't really have the right setup for it yet. Uh, for whatever reason, I seem to have- it seems to be taking a long time to get a second Google Mama meter. <laughs> it seems like something I would have taken, but it doesn't seem like I've actually been offered a second one in a long time. Uh, which kind of sucks for all that. Uh, okay, so the first glitch or myth, I keep mixing that up. Uh, first myth I think we're gonna test out today is probably, hmm, which one would it be? So, the thing is, some of these are easier to test than others, and some of these have, like, parts I can test earlier. Obviously, 40 Sword and Crystal Merchants of Destruction is definitely bad balloon. Mob Assassin, I'll probably check on the ZMG. Um, so see for Charlie's thing, I should be able to check on the ZMG. What was I upgrading? Right, Dr. Monkey. Okay, cool. I'm like, wait, what was I just upgrading? That makes more sense. Uh, as far as the Vampire Kings, that's probably something that's gonna get tested on Bad Balloon. Uh, that's a bit of a harder one to test on ZMG, so I'll probably do C for Charlie ZMG. Um, there is one of the ally boosts I'm actually probably gonna check pretty quickly. Uh, cause one of them was a range boost with the loot suit, so I can check pretty easily if that one's affecting allies, cause that would be a very easily measurable thing. Uh, so that's a quick thing I'll do, and then the others will probably mostly wait till the Bad Balloon, because uh, that definitely gives a better opportunity to test this stuff out, because there I can test the Vampire or King thing, uh, the just buffing of allies in general, more specifically. I probably won't use Vampire King for that, I'm probably going to use uh, Tech Terror, most likely. Camo Balloons, there we go, we're good, right? Awesome. <laughs> just me being completely forgetful, I'm like, right, Camo Balloons, those exist. Uh, I guess Dr. Monkey D camo, so that's probably where I was safe for so long. I'm like, wait, why was that an issue again? Right, that makes more sense. Oh, right, I remember now, there's one more glitch I missed, or one more myth I missed. Uh, essentially the idea was that, they mentioned something of percentages, but does Sabotage Supply Line and the Soul Steal slow down? Do they stack? If you use Sabotage Supply Line on a Soul Stolen Moab, well, Bloom in general, but Moab for this case, uh, will it move slower? That's definitely one we could test on the CMG, which is nice. Uh, but yeah, that's- I remembered. My memory is coming back, slowly but surely. Uh, but yeah, no, I think that was the last one. I think that's the one I'm like, oh, I'm definitely forgetting something that's like nagging in the back of my brain. I'm not gonna go for Koba's upgrades this time, because I feel like that could probably make tests harder to do. That could be wrong. So I suppose one thing I will quickly test is just, um, does this really work? The, um, what's it called? What is it exactly? It is the... You can go back there, Marcelin. Uh, does the ally buffs, or not ally buffs, do the trinkets that give buffs to characters uh, affect allies as well? So, this is Martin's range. This is Martin's range. This is Martin's range. It got bigger. You can see it right there. It is officially larger. So, boom. At the very least, the range boost applies. Uh, we're going to get to test the other ones out later. Uh, probably against the ZMG, though potentially against the Bad Balloon. Uh, so, yeah, that's... Um, that's, that's something. Uh, probably against the Babloon, though, because it is a bit harder to test actual numbers here. Because uh, some of the attacks we boost are pretty small, like the Tree Drunk's Cutlass is 5%, and the Loot Suit's 2%, so it's not exactly the easiest thing to check. Uh, loot Suit also gives a range boost, which makes things harder to double check and confirm, uh, which could cause some issues. I'm hoping it's going to work out pretty well. I suppose I probably should just play Sleeper Charlie uh, up in the corner here, just so his ability is ready, so we have access to it. Uh, oh, right, I actually need to buy that ability. That would make sense. That would be something important I need to remember to do. Um, I would, honestly, I'm really interested to see, see for Charlie in particular, if his ability will stack, or if, like, damage buffs apply to it. That is a really great glitch idea. Or myth, 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 myth. <sighs> okay, I'm willing to bet in this video so far I've said glitch instead of myth about ten times, and we'll probably say it at least five more times. That's, that sucks. Uh, sometimes my memory slash just 
I don't know if it's memory is even the right term, just general abilities to say the right thing. I don't really know how else to describe it, uh, are not the best, though I suppose it's just general language of skills. Um, yeah, okay, so there's not a ton else to do until the ZMG, so I probably will uh, just see you guys on round 60, and we'll do a couple more tests, and then I'll cut to the bad balloon. Okay, so I'm back. It's around 59. Um, so obviously round 60 is coming up around the corner, and we'll get to do quite a few tests, or right now, I guess. Uh, we will sell quickly Dr. Monkey. I did actually just come up with another myth. Does Dr. Monkey decam- well, just a lot of, actually, in my mind, just exploded with these ideas. Decamera and DTs, what works on that? That might be a video, or it might be a Mythbuster, we'll see. But just so many ideas flood through. I love this series, I really- I kind of find it hard to believe I didn't try this sooner. Uh, so a few things I want to test. First things first, I'll test out the slow one, because uh, that's pretty easy to do. Essentially, we will take uh, our Hunts and Abadir, wherever he is, here we go. Uh, we'll plot Hunts and Abadir in the corner here. So the idea is, I just look at this, I'll do it in a fast forward. So Sabotage Supply Lines slows down, obviously, a fair bit. It's a fairly significant slowdown, it slows down a lot. I think it's about 50%, though honestly, it might be more significant than that. Uh, I did max upgrade him, cool. So, Soul Stolen ZMG. It's pretty slow. I think that's faster than with Sabotage, but then... Yeah, no, that definitely combines. I don't know... Yeah, that's definitely a combination. I will, I think, maybe... Hmm, there's, I'm not entirely sure how I'll do this. Um, I may just quickly do some of these runs out myself. Uh, one with no Soul Steel, one with just Soul Steel, and then one with Soul Steel... Um, plus Sabotar Supply Line, until, like, the ZMG does its first turn or something, just to see this. Uh, so I will quickly do those tests, and then I'll probably, uh, pop up some numbers, uh, in editing, because I'm not obviously gonna know myself, I'll just do the recordings now, and then hopefully I'll come back and show you some numbers. Okay, so I'm back here. I just did a bit of recording. Yes, I'm gonna trust I did a good job with that. I hope I did. I have quite a few ideas for how I'm gonna edit that. Uh, but now it's time to test out C4 Charlie. So, C4 Charlie, zero props. We got ourselves a ZMG. We're gonna use Morb Assassin. And Morb Assassin does it one shots at dealing 8,000 damage. I'm not gonna try this one more time uh, with Plasma Goggles Sand. Or not Plasma Goggles Sand, just Plasma Goggles. And see if it does more. Uh, if not, I will try to scan the bad balloon because it looks like it may be damage capped by the ZMD popping. Okay, so let's get started. We can then go ahead and try this again. This time, of course, still in zero pops. Uh, we'll use Plasma Goggle Sam and... Not Plasma Goggle Sam, just Plasma Goggles. Still at 8,000 pops. I feel like that might be because the ZMD died, though, so I'll definitely be sure to try that again on, um, on round 100 because I feel like there may be different results. Uh, but that was some decent testing. We got two... Three myths, I remember the white two myths. Two myths. So, I forgot, I haven't done my myths confirmed or myths whatever. I'm not quite sure how I edited it last time, it might be slightly different. But I'm just gonna talk normally, I guess, say what I'd say. I have no idea what I'm talking about right now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say, uh, for the Psy myth, do they stack? Um, they definitely stack, which I wasn't quite sure about. I figured they would. Um, I'm not entirely sure what the myth was, but I'm gonna say the myth confirmed. Psy, Sabotage, Slow, Stacking with Soul Steel Slow, confirmed. Um, so that's pretty cool. I can't imagine why it wouldn't. It is just interesting to see uh, in my mind. Hopefully I was able to figure this out editing-wise. Hopefully you guys did see a, like, comparison of the speeds. Because it was pretty crazy. Like, I looked through all of them, obviously. Um, 
this like the soul still is slower but it's not nearly as slow as i thought it was and uh the sabotage is just crazy especially in combination with the soul steel thing moves so slowly um but yeah so i think now we're just gonna wait till the bad balloon and we'll have two or three more four more things to test four more minutes to test and just double check this um more assassin one and i'll see you guys then hopefully it'll only be a couple minutes uh for me i guess but yeah i'll see you guys then Okay, so back on round 74. Uh, I'm a little nervous right now. Yeah, you need some support. Let's use a quick sabotage supply lines because apparently, um, Panther Mars been struggling a little bit with this. Man, that's such a good ability. <laughs> um, wait, was that even the- that was the difficult wave, right? Yeah, okay, cool. Just had to double check that. Uh, I, can I just quickly mention this? We gotta say something about Hunter Marcelin effectively soloing the entire game with only, like, five trinkets. Uh, that's pretty darn impressive. But now, it is time for a bunch of myths to be dealt. Uh, first things first, I just want to double check the, uh, Morb Assassin thing. So, you currently have 8,000 pops, yes. Morb Assassin, boom. 16,000 exactly. I can actually just try this one again this time around. I'll just wait for the Plasma Models ability, or not Plasma Models. Morb Assassin ability to be ready. I don't believe it's that long of a cooldown. Nope, doesn't look like it, so we'll test that one out in a second. Um, use Plasma Noggles first and hope this does work. As I did mention though, I will try this one one more time, um, with, um, normal damage boots if this doesn't work. 24,000 does not look like it stacks. Uh, that's too bad. Uh, next thing's up. Actually, we're going to try four Vampire Kings, so I'll be back in a second. I did just realize though, I actually did forget to say myth confirmed or false. Uh, I'm gonna say myth false for now. <laughs> Uh, I'm definitely gonna do one more test there, but it looks like this probably isn't gonna work, which is too bad. The puzzle goggles is a bit iffy, so I will try this one again. Uh, next things up, though, is just four Vampire Kings. Um, not four Vampire Kings, rather. We will test the DPS of four Vampire Kings, and then we'll test the DPS of five Vampire Kings. See how quickly they pop the bad balloon is essentially what we're doing here. Uh, is multiple, like, do multiple, um, Vampire Kings pop a bad balloon faster after four? I assume it would. But we're gonna find out, because I honestly don't know. I'm also assuming they'll pop the Babylon. Four fully upgraded Vampire Kings are pretty powerful. Yeah, it looks like we'll be good. Uh, just double checking, nothing else is attacking. Cool. Also, I just have to point this out. Why is Sai throwing Tetsubishi on the floor? I don't really get why it's a thing. Also, it looks like the Babylon's going to die probably right around the start of this loop. Um... Yeah, so we should be able to compare that pretty easily. I will now come back in a second with a bunch more Vampire Kings. Probably eight. Okay, time to add in a few more. So, Warrior PB, you go off in the corner, you buy your upgrades, which do not buff Vampire Kings, in case you're curious, it doesn't make them stronger. Um, I don't know if any of you are curious about that, I just felt the need to confirm that there. Uh, okay, so we will essentially double the number of Vampire Kings. Theoretically, we should pop the Babylon twice as fast. Um, we're gonna find out if that's the case. This one should be noticeable pretty quickly. Um, I can't imagine why 4 would be the limit. But honestly, I still kind of leave the comments, so let's take a look. Uh, will more than four Vampire Kings pop it faster? Pretty sure it already has, yeah, definitely. Uh, all of them obviously have pops, it looks like their pops are identical. Um, I can't actually win this quickly, which I can't pop DTs anyway, so you know, definitely looks like pops are just about the same. Uh, so, go figure, more Babaloons popped, or more Vampire Kings pops the Babaloons faster, so I'm gonna go have to say in myth- but I'm gonna have to go ahead and say myth- Confirmed! Uh, so that's nice to do. Uh, not quite- or not myth confirmed. Myth actually false. It's false. Myth denied? I don't know. Uh, so no, what am I talking about? Uh, the myth is wrong. Turns out more than four Vampire Kings. Yeah, it definitely still does damage. It, or, I don't know. It pops things faster, it does more damage. I don't even know really why I tested this. Some part of my brain up until doing this thought that this might not happen. Uh, I don't really know why, but I'll be back in a second. I believe the next myth we're going to test out is, um, ally boost slash character boost stuff. Okay, so this one's actually pretty easy. As I did say, I'm not gonna use Vampire Kings for this, I'm gonna use Tech Terror. Essentially, we take a look at Tech Terror with no buffs, then we take a look at Tech Terror with the Loot Suit, then, uh, the Knife, or not the Knife, uh, Tree Trunks, Apple Knife, and then Warning Horn and see how much damage Tech Terror does with all of these. Should be pretty basic. I'll put Tech Terror in the same spot which is as quick and early as I can here, uh, just for simplicity's sake. No upgrades, I don't know if that should make a difference, but it's important that I stay consistent with that. Let's take a look, how much damage does the base, no upgrade, no support tech tier do 
to a ZMG, not a ZMG, a bad balloon in this first loop. Once it's out of range for the first time, I'm not going to wait for the second loop around. Uh, actually pretty decent. This is a fair bit of damage, but the bad balloon not taking that much of a dent. It's still only a little over 10% of the bad balloon's health, but that's pretty not impressive for a no upgrade, no support tech terror. Uh, but I'll be back and we'll take a look at the other damage. 3,756, got to keep that in mind. Okay, next thing on the list, we are going to go ahead and try it with... Uh, Tree Jinx, Apple Knife. I'm not going to do Loot Suit yet because I know that gives a range boost, which makes things a bit skewed. I don't know why I'm going over there. So, 3760. 3760, I believe that was the damage number we had to beat. Well, let's take a look. Will this make a difference? It probably will. Um, it's really hard to tell until the end here. 5% is a difference, but it's not significant. I'll also be interested to see, actually, is it actually 5% stronger? Because that's also not a gang test. I will say... Uh, that's a lot more damage, like, way, way more damage. This is the same tech terror spot, by the way. Tuxedo Jake, all he was giving was a small attack speed boost. He has no trinkets and no weapons. Um, why are we doing so much more damage exactly? 5,632. I feel like I did something wrong, because I'm pretty sure I just got 5% attack speed boost. And maybe, at most, like, a pierce increase? But that shouldn't have mattered, because... This is one balloon. Okay, I'm a little confused. I'm gonna try that one more time with Warning Horn, see if it's more than 5,632. Okay, so this time around, I'm actually gonna use Warning Horn, see how big of a difference it is, if any. Uh, obviously, bad balloon, it means slow, so the slow impact should make a difference. Uh, I still am a little confused as to why the, um, blah, apple, not apple, tree trunks apple knife added so much damage. We're gonna get to see if Warning Horn makes that much of a difference as well. Obviously, we won't have it for its full duration, but we will have it for some of it. Actually, slow this mode down just to be sure. Yeah, definitely doing way more damage. I don't know where these numbers are coming from. I just know they're here and it's doing more damage. So, a little bit of Warning Horn, not full duration, but certainly a little bit of the boost. It looks like it's being applied. And our damage is... That's higher, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's higher. Is that higher? Obviously, you guys should know that I'm- my memory just sucks, apparently, and if it is, um, I'll probably do a confirmation on screen editing, but still, I'm pretty sure that's higher, but it's not by a lot, which isn't that surprising, because it wasn't up for very long, but Tree Trunks Apple Knife added a ton of damage, so, interesting. Now I'm gonna try once again with Loot Suit. This is entirely up to editing me, because I'm pretty sure it was 3760, but I honestly don't remember what our base damage was, so I'll try it again with a loot suit, and then I might just do one more test of base damage again. Okay, so this time around we're gonna sell Tuxedo Jake, and uh, just use Vamp- not Vampire King, Hunter Marcelin, not Hunter Marcelin, Marcelin, uh, with her upgrades, whatever they may be. I'm just gonna lock- no. I'm just gonna quickly lock you in place, Marcelin, to make things easier. Uh, loot suit does give a small range boost as well, but also the, like, 2% attack speed boost, 3% attack speed boost. Let's see, uh, if it's above 4,000, there was definitely a difference. Though I am going to do one more test of base damage numbers, because I feel like something else is off. Because things feel very strange here. Though again, this is doing way more damage. Like, significantly more damage. Okay, I have to do another basic number test, because this is really high. Is that higher than with Tree Trunks Apple Knife? It is, right? Which range might make sense, then, because there's a range boost, which might be more significant. I'm gonna try this one more time with base numbers, just no buffs. I believe that's actually identical to the other attack speed boost runs. I need you to try this again. Okay, so ready for my final test with this. Uh, we're just gonna go base numbers here, no buffs, and see what happens. Because I feel like something else is happening here. Because everything's doing way more damage with small buffs, which shouldn't be happening. So let's see one more time here. Nothing should have changed. We should be doing less than 4,000 damage, which it looks like we are this time. What? Why? What? It's 3760, isn't it? 3756, which is a margin of error of 4 damage, which is pretty slim. Why? I'm, I'm so confused. None of this makes sense to me. If you guys could explain why these numbers are the way they are, I'd very much so appreciate it, because... This is just bonkers. Why is it doing 2,000 more damage with 5% extra attack speed? I don't know. Why is it doing the same, if not slightly more, with less attack speed and a tiny range boost? I don't... I don't get this. Uh, but I'm gonna have to say, I guess myth confirmed. Not myth confirmed. Once again, myth false. Um, character boost definitely applied to, um, allies. Just... 
in a bit of an odd way. I'm gonna have to do some more testing with ally buffs and maybe in a future video because this is weird. Uh, but let's move on to the next uh, myth. There is another one, right? I just have to double check now. It, there, we have another myth, right? Trying to go over things. Right, we actually, we haven't covered the one-shots yet. Uh, so we'll quickly do the one-shots, and I believe those are all the final myths for today, so I'll be back in a second and we'll try those. Okay, so these should be pretty easy to test. Essentially, we got ourselves a fin. We're gonna go for some attack speed boosts and some range boosts. Um, he's gonna probably hit this thing at least 20 times. Is it gonna get one-shotted? I assume not. This is one I have very low faith in this working. The Crystal Motors of Destruction is the main one I'm testing. But while I'm here, I might as well test this one as well. So already over 20 hits. Uh, yeah, I don't think this is getting one-shotted, and it's definitely not getting slowed. Um, so I, I will move in one more time, but I'm pretty sure it's safe to say that's not working. Warrior PB I actually need again, so Warrior PB, you're gonna go back here as a one-shot, and then I need to plop some Vampire Kings down here. That's the issue, actually, I use uh, Warrior PB as this, which means it has to be at exactly 10% health-ish, uh, right around when we reach Warrior PB, so I need to add Vampire Kings here quickly. To hopefully get enough DPS, but only enough DPS at the right time, almost, which is weird. Uh, actually, I'm gonna be ready to sub Warrior PB, because I feel like that probably is more likely. Once we reach final damage phase of Bad Balloon, I'll try to move Warrior PB if necessary, which looks like it's going to be the case. Um, I think I'm gonna move Warrior PB and put her right here. I think this should work better. Um, I'll do a range boost, I believe that's what it does. No, it's not, whatever, we'll go for those sword boosts. It's not currently- okay, there it is, final damage phase, Warrior PB's attacking now. Uh, we should be at 10% pretty soon, and we should notice if there's an effect. Hopefully. Hopefully we'll notice something. Um, I don't know if it's at 10% yet is the issue. I'll know obviously when it pops if it's not. Okay, didn't look like there was an effect. I do then need to test this. I'm gonna pop the Babloon and just double check. Uh, doing it on a Zoom G does that. Like, it still works, right? There's an obvious effect. I need to try this one more time, but I'm pretty sure this is for both of them. Miss. False, which kind of sucks, because I was pretty sure Crystal Motors of Destruction actually did work. So I believe, um, obviously we're gonna do this one last test here, but I believe that isn't working, so I will quickly just double check with, um, we'll put the Vampire Kings here at the start, see with the ZMG if something else is gonna happen, which it definitely might. Um, but I do want to just confirm, I guess, that this is working, sort of, that, like, it does, it does have an effect like I think it does and is obvious when Crystal Motors of Destruction activates. Uh, which again, I'm pretty sure it is, but it is worth double checking. We'll pull the Hunts and Abbott Deer here, because I believe that's necessary for DTs, so we don't die. Uh, I did promise, I know at the beginning, that I was going to retry C4 Charlie. I think I'll actually do that in the next Mythbuster video, uh, just because I don't think it really makes sense to redo an entire bad balloon for me. That's a lot of time. Uh, so let's see if this is going to work out alright. I'm obviously willing to sell. Actually, I'll use more missiles to speed this up, make this process a bit easier. Uh, hopefully I won't need to sell Warrior PB or anything. Okay, so, they're dead. Uh, or, not they're dead. Babbling Pop, nothing obvious happened. DT is obviously gonna get one-shot pretty quickly. You have been upgraded, cool. I don't know what the issue is, then just... Yeah, wait, are you single target? No, okay, definitely hit the other one. Right? Just like me plopping down. D don't mind me. Uh, Warrior PB, you need to be moved, because these ZMDs are being obnoxious and taking a while to pop. Didn't mean to do that. Um, okay, come on. You should pop any second now, ZMGs. You're definitely nearing 10% health, and we should see if they affect. Come on, any second now. Don't make this annoying. Please don't make this annoying. No, so you see there, there's this obvious interesting effect, and it's pretty obvious. So it doesn't look like it works on Babylon, so myth definitely confirm, not myth confirm, man, I keep mixing this up. Myth false. It doesn't really have a nice ring to it, but I don't know what else to say besides myth false. Myth denied, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I think that's pretty much it for today then, which is, I don't know if it's disappointing or what, um, but yeah, definitely let me know if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe, comment, all that awesome stuff. We're okay, right? Uh, I'm just gonna quickly buy a Hunter Marceline here, just a little bit of extra support in the back, because I trust the Vampire Kings only so much, and I really don't want to lose now, because that would suck, but I think we're okay. Yeah, I think we're good, cool. Um, yeah. But yeah, thank you all for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this third episode or third video of myth busting. If you guys have some myths, definitely leave them in the comments. Make sure you write myth in your, like, comment, because if you don't, I am significantly less likely to notice it and use it in the next Mythbuster video. So if you write 
myth in your comments somewhere uh, that'll make it easier for me to find it and more likely that I will use it. I'm gonna take another Scandi bird because that might be useful for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so hopefully you guys did enjoy this. If you do have more bits, definitely let me know what you guys want me to test out next time. Uh, if there was any mistakes, if I made some mistakes in my testing or logic of this video, uh, please let me know. I'll try to fix those, or at least leave a comment basically saying what I did wrong, pinning your comment to the top of the comments, something like that, just to make it a bit more obvious that there was a mistake. So please let me know if any of that is the case. Uh, I will put a link. I don't know if I've made a playlist yet. If I haven't, I will try to make one for the myth busting videos. If I haven't put that link in the description, please remind me. It's easy to add. I just have a bad memory. Uh, but yeah, with that, thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe, like, comment. I know I already said most of that, but I'll say it again. And uh, just have a wonderful day. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.